this is the Sperry main air compressor where uh, in this video I would like to show how to replace uh, high pressure suction valve of this particular compressor this uh, compressor have uh, two L two side one is high pressure and low pressure so it got uh, different valve one for high pressure suction one for uh, high pressure discharge one for uh, low pressure suction and one for low pressure discharge so now i am opening the high pressure suction valve so before uh, doing any maintenance on main air compressor always follow safety precautions like uh, i said uh, you have to always isolate the power for the particular compressor stop the close the outlet valve and uh, hang it do not uh, start tag on the compressor and put the compressor in manual mode so after following this just uh, now we are going to open it so i am opening the locking nut of the valve so as i say always use proper tool for opening the nut if you are op if you are using the wrong size of tool you may damage the nut head so now we are opening the nut so nut opening is in progress so once uh, the nut is removed just tap with a hammer and remove the top flange so that is what we are going to do now we are uh, we have loosened the nuts and just we are giving a tap over the flange which is a high pressure uh, valve cover just give a tap with the help of hammer and uh, you can lift it with the help of hand only no need uh, of any special tool just lift it it will come by itself so we had removed it and uh, okay so after removing this ensure it is kept safe and all the face is okay no damage nothing and uh, after removing the cover you just remove the valve cover of it and what do you need to check in this valve cover is the deposit of carbons you can see uh, quite a lot of deposits and this is the high pressure suction valve so you can see the valve is completely means it is not damaged but uh, it got a lot of carbon deposit in it and you can see the valve seat and in my last video i show i had told you that uh, the main thing that we need to notice in this uh, valve positioning is the gasket you should not forget to fit the gasket so that gasket is uh, stuck over near the valve seat so we need to remove the gasket now so i'm using a welding rod just sharpen it and remove it you can see the gasket and uh, you can see the gasket is already damaged it's broken so i cannot use that uh, gasket even after doing annealing also so i have to discard it so next thing is uh, these are the carbon deposits which get deposited inside the valve cover so all we need to do is we need to remove the carbon deposits so it is very easy either you can use a buffing machine small buffing machine pencil grinder like thing or else you can use the emery paper to remove all the deposits carbon deposits you can remove it so just uh, use a hard emery and uh, ensure all the carbon deposits have been uh, completely removed so that it looks good it looks clean mm okay so we are done with the cleaning of this cover you can see all the deposits have been removed so this is how we have to remove once that is removed then you have to keep the clean the valve seat surface so that is what i am doing now just clean it with the paper that is more than enough so in this case i am going to renew the valve so before renewing the valve you have to check uh, whether we have the exact part number or everything just check this is the valve seat valve seat should be clear enough so okay so as i said i'm going to renew this uh, valve you can see a lot of carbon deposit in this so this is the suction valve what happens is uh, okay regarding how it works i will uh, explain on my next video so okay 
so you can see from like uh, when the piston goes down this uh, from top it will be it will be taking uh, yeah like uh, the suction will be from downwards you can see the spring anyway i can i will explain the working of this uh, valve in my next video so we will focus on the job now so as i said that uh, gasket cannot be used again so i am taking a new gasket so new gasket i'm taking so new gasket is ready and next is uh, always uh, whenever you are using uh, any spares for the compressor always compare with the spare number so that you should not uh, misplace any kind of uh, spares with other because some spares look very similar but minor changes will be there so always check and confirm with the number so that you don't get confused or you don't uh, fix the wrong uh, part in place so o-ring is ready and as i said uh, this is the part number for high pressure suction valve 3049 and i compared with the manual it is also fine so we are removing it it's a brand new valve we are going to change it just be careful when you are handling these valves because it should not drop down so that is what uh, you can see the packing is so good like airtight packing again in each and every pack there will be a valve number so that uh, you will be double confirming valve number is 3049 and just confirm with the maintenance kit so you can double ensure that's all so this is a new valve i'm going to open it so okay remove it nicely yeah okay we are in phase okay you can see a brand new valve so main thing that you need to notice in this uh, valve is uh, sometime when you do the replacement of both suction and discharge there are chances for mismatching means you put suction in discharge and discharge in suction so you get the wrong reading so to avoid that do one by one so now uh, I'm going to fix the gasket in place so I use this uh, molly coat so that uh, that will act as the means I mean uh, the gasket won't drop down it won't fall down when I fix in place it it acts like a I mean uh, like a paste so when you fit it will exactly uh, it will be exactly in uh, place so this is like so okay so we are done with that so just we cleaned with the clean the surface now we are fixing the valve so the main thing we need to check is the gasket should be in place and it should be properly seated you just turn and see it should be in place it should be on the valve seat so next thing is you have to fix the cover so you can see the valve seat is already in place very nicely so next is the cover cover fit it in place and it should be properly seated just turn and see so after all this next is i have to put back the flange cover i mean uh, the cover in place so just check the cover is okay all fine the cover is in place fixed properly put back the nut so i'm fitting back the nut and regarding the tightening part for the for the nuts all the compressors whatever compressor make you see you can find the torque uh, tightening uh, value for the particular nuts suppose uh, if this nut is say m12 m16 m9 whatever they will specify only the uh, nut size they don't specify where it locates because uh, uh, these nuts are uh, used in almost in all the way in the compressor so they specify only the nut size so m8 for m8 you put this uh, token and m12 you put this tokening so all these values will be uh, shown in your manual so before tightening always uh, ensure your uh, 
you had understand the torque tightening value so that you use the particular torque tightening value to tighten it so now we are tightening always as i say diagonal tightening of uh, any any whichever uh, tightening you are doing just do it diagonally so next is now we are doing the tightening so let it go so the main air compressor uh, main maintenance job for this is routine maintenance of valve sometimes uh, there will be uh, like you have to uh, do the valve checking just to check whether the value is okay or not some makers say you have to directly change the valve after 2000 hours or 4000 hours so it is like this so nothing to uh, worry about uh, doing maintenance work on a spare air compressor especially for the engineers who are uh, very new to ship means the first time as a fourth engineer don't need to get panic on uh, doing maintenance work for uh, <coughs> maintenance work for uh, compressors just follow the manual just follow the maker's instruction and uh, you can take a guidance of this video so that you can get uh, get some uh, work related knowledge like practical knowledge you can get from here so that's all we are done with this the same way you will be doing the maintenance work means changing the valve for other three also the same procedure you have to follow for uh, uh, lp discharge suction high pressure uh, discharge valve whatever so main thing just i want to revise it to you before doing any work on compressor read the manual properly check the safety aspects take proper precautions and uh, precautions is very much important to do any maintenance work on compressor because if you missed any one of the safety precautions that may end up into accidents so always uh, switch off the power close the outlet valve and uh, you have to ensure that uh, you have proper proper uh, what do you call uh, proper tool in hand to work with it and uh, overall if you have any doubt just uh, take guidance from your senior engineers so these are all the things that we need to know here is my uh, junior engineer working on compressor i think he is now very comfortable to work with the uh, compressor i think he can handle compressor on his next shift hopefully anyway very simple so this is how we have to do valve related maintenance on uh, main air compressor for this Sperry. So I believe this video must have given you some information about uh, how to do valve, uh, valve, valve renewal and opening of uh, valve and uh, fitting back and tightening back the valves so if you have any doubt in this maintenance part please put in comment box definitely i will uh, reply your queries and i believe uh, this video must be useful for uh, any junior officers and fourth engineers who is on board or going to get on board soon keep supporting our channel take care Bye guys.